Hello, everyone, and welcome to our weekly education webinar. My colleague, Sai Mahesh, and I would like to thank you for joining. So this week, we picked a very interesting and famous topic, uh, the Japanese candlestick patterns. Many traders do prefer this type of charting over other available types, as they believe of having better understanding for what's happening in the market and set better forecasts. So first, we're going to start with, uh, with a brief about the candlesticks, and then we'll move to patterns and uh, to show up some patterns also on the MetaTrader 4 on some live charting. So what are candlesticks usually? Let's, uh, first, it is said that they were found in early 1700s by a rice merchant called Munehisa Homa. He believed that the markets are strongly affected by emotions of a trader, so he wanted to, uh, to, to create a certain chart that will will allow him to, sh to to see these emotions visually. So he created this candlestick, uh, uh, the candlestick uh, charting, that will show us four uh, four points, uh, four price points, and uh, by 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 setting them uh, by by setting these price points, uh, he will be able to uh, to to see these emotions uh, visually. So. Uh, he also he, he also later on discovered uh, or invented the Heiken Ashi, which is also uh, a type of of charting that uh, works on erasing or uh, reducing noise from the chart. We're going to talk also about Heiken Ashi in the coming webinars. So so this is uh, this is the story of of, of Homa who discovered the the candlestick charts they usually as we said they usually show uh four price points the open close high and low of the period of time specified specified by a trader so you can choose your set your time frame for example one minute five minutes 15 minutes 30 minutes one hour one week one month or a certain period you can you can specify let's say you can take into consideration you're gonna check two for two minutes for these two minutes i'll take the the opening price for these two minutes the closing price the highest price reached within t these two minutes and the lowest price taken with these within these two minutes and uh, then i have this candle and visually i can see how the more how the market reacted and it would be much easier to uh to to do some analysis on uh, on this uh on the financial instrument so uh we're gonna show you the candles how, how how they look so this is a bearish candle and a bullish candle on the bearish candle for example let's take let's uh, let's use gold as as an example for example so in this uh for today let's take today into consideration so the price of a gold ounce opened here let's say it's it was around 1740 and the price of gold dropped towards a low of 1720 and then uh went to a high of seven, dropped to a 1720 and then closed at 1730 so we have a drop of ten dollars on the day so this candle will show me the highest price reached within a day the lowest price the open and the close it will be shown in red or dark color to uh uh, to, to show to show that the market went down on this day completely opposite for the bullish candle so let's say this is the open at 1730 the market went down to 1720 and then went as high as 1750 and dropped slightly towards 1740 so we have a gain of ten dollars on the day it will show in the light the light color usually blue or green this will be uh this will show the positive move within a certain day so this is the formation of a candle. Uh, usually traders rely on candlestick patterns to forecast future price movements. These patterns can provide reversal and continuation signals so we can get uh, get some insights on whether the market is going to reverse or continue in a certain trend and they also could be formed from one or more candles. However, the re reliability and success rate differs. So, uh, so you have to always focus on, on the patterns that happen the most or do occur the most and have higher success rate so we chose a series of patterns that occur more often and have better success rate i'm going to talk about uh, about the most popular pattern and my colleagues i will continue the rest so uh, so the most famous pattern among uh, among candlesticks is uh, the bullish uh, the bullish and uh, the bullish engulfing pattern and uh, the bearish engulfing pattern usually they consist of two candles there are of two candles where the first candle is contained in the second i'll show you an example these are the two patterns the bullish engulfing pattern and the bearish engulfing pattern so for example uh, uh for, for example a certain financial instrument 
uh, here was able to recover from a drop of a period of a previous day so let's say uh, let's say we have for example gold yesterday gold dropped by ten dollars from open to close it was ten dollars minimum and then the second day it rose by around fourteen dollars it closed up fourteen dollars so it recovered all the losses it recovered from all the losses and closed at a higher price this this uh, signals that the the buyers are back in control which could give us a signal to buy in the market usually traders would wait for the close of the scandal and then they would set uh they would they would have a buy order in the market and they would set their stops either at the bottom at the lowest wick of the candle the previous candle or they would put a, a stop also lower to uh, to to be on the safe side so this is a trade this this is how traders do uh, use uh, the bullish engulfing pattern they would buy here at the close of this candle and set the stop either at the lowest point or even lower to be on the safe side depends on your risk appetite so this is for the bullish engulfing pattern completely the opposite for the bearish engulfing pattern so we have a certain instrument that was up on the day and then the second day it raised all these gains and uh, dropped further towards towards the new lows so we can see all uh, a clear reversal in the market the, we had a bullish signal a bullish move and then the market reversed it to a certain instrument uh, for example gold uh, euro uh, stocks anything that that can can you you, you, can, you are using to chart off raised all the positivity gained during the previous session and uh, is currently uh, undergoing a negativity and is, is is going into a move lower so also traders would would uh, initiate a sell position here and then they would put a stop at the highest point or even higher it depends also on their risk uh, the risk appetite so this is for the bullish and bearish engulfing patterns they are very uh, very simple and they are found on the charts more often than uh, any other patterns and now my colleague Sai is going to talk about more interesting patterns Sai Thanks, Wael. Uh, hi, everyone. Hope you're doing good. Uh, let's we move on to the next patterns. Uh, see, let, basically, there are many type of patterns, uh, candlesticks patterns are available in the markets, like uh, to identify the trends. But where we are taken down only five, six major patterns, which are very popular and potential patterns we have been taken here. So if you move on to the next, we can see there is a, a in evening star and the morning star patterns so this is also a very uh, 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 popular which usually occur in the markets basically in both uh, in a uh, in type of currencies or maybe commodities or we can say stocks but in case if we say about evening star and morning star regular appears on the stock markets uh, uh, type of uh, analysis so if evening star and morning star patterns are the also a popular reversal patterns taking place at the top are at the bottom of the trend. That means it gives us a revis uh, reversal movement of the trend. So it consists of three candles. Basically, it has a formation of three candles. If we take over the previous one of the engulfing, there's a two confirmation candle give the entry. But here we have to consider for the third more candles, which would give us an indication uh, to enter in the market. So when we take about the evening star patterns, uh, appears on the top of an, an uptrend and the signal that has been about to be end. So if you see, I can show you in the uh, in, in, a, in, a, in a way like uh, these are the three type of cattle which is going to indicate. So when you're talking about the morning star, so there is a bearish continuation were there from the markets and suddenly there was a small type of uh, a closing which is uh, a wick is uh, in the top on the bottom a small wick and a small body and suddenly there is a big bullish uh, which has been uh, appeared in the markets. We can see uh, in any time frame it usually happens in a longer time period. For example, you can take one hour or four hours, eight hours, if it's very good on four hours, eight daily or weekly or monthly basis, a very effective way because that sends to the trend reversal basically. So when there is a bearish happens here and the small type of uh, a candle formations and there is a bullish again. So this is how the indication happens. This is how the patterns will be defined and identified in such a way. So what has to be the action to be taken here? Whenever this formation happens, always doesn't mean that you have to jump into the market to be on the buyer side. So you can see a, a, a bullish candle close here. So this is how the exact entry or execution of the trade. For example, when you can see a resistance over here, that's mean that it's going to break. If you break, that is going to continue on the upper trend. As I said, like always keep your stop loss in the lower side of the patterns. So be on a safer side so that you can move your stop loss uh, gradually when the market keeps on a positive side. So same way, if you're talking about the evening star, so on the 
appears on the top of top of our uprint and the signal that is on the board on the end. Same opposed to the morning star. So we can see the both the type of uh, uh, patterns here. In case of evening star, there is a bullish trend happened and there is a small type of uh, uh, candles close, uh, which can be a daily or can be a four hours or any time frame. And there's a sudden breakout happen in the downside. So your execution will going to start when there is a small support has been maintained on this week. So after breaking this strong break happens that we can go for an entry of the loop. And same way we have to keep a, a stop loss above the what is above the live like the patterns are be given the top above the levels that could be the stop loss so this is all about a small preparation uh, brief about the evening and uh, morning star uh, patterns let's move on to the next one uh, next is we can say doji so basically from the no name doji which is a basically a japanese name uh, it's one of the best and uh, a popular uh, type of uh, patterns usually it occurs regularly on any type of reversal type of movement and strong movements so what it meaning about doji doji candle is one of the most unique and candlestick formation that shows that the open and close price of the certain instrument that are almost exactly at the same price that means uh, you can see here like a uh, it's we can't see the candle body of the of the of the, of the particular can, candlesticks. You can see it's understood that there is a upside and low side spike, or we can say weak or shadow. What happened in the market? But the market opened someplace and closed exactly on the same price. That means open. For example, take for gold when the market opened this thousand seven fifty uh, per ounce and exactly closed back again with thousand seven fifty dollars per ounce. So same way you can see there's one more type of doji like we can see there are long spike in the bottom that means the market has opened here and came down all the way down and after some reason some pressure or maybe a, a oversold out reason the market has bounced back from the level and given some stuff type of high levels or some type of uh, a small spike and close the same level exactly the same way for the reversal side so the market opened at the somewhere and it went up at the higher level and made some resistance and and corrected back again to the same level and closed down so basically it looks like a, a cross or we can say like a, a plus sign of uh, uh, a doji uh, patterns which normally called as uh, a doji uh, type of patterns so you can see in this case uh, let me share So here the doji candlesticks look like a cross or inverter cross or a plus sign so it's very easy to identify it's, it regularly appears uh, regularly appears on the markets uh, and which give you a very good uh, uh, sign of indication for the trend they are also uh, called neutral patterns since it's closed on the same place of opening and the closing they usually take place in a significant continuation of the patterns so to be a better sign like always uh, if you see this type of uh, patterns in the markets always it doesn't mean again jump on the market it doesn't mean that way so always keep eye on the top of the uh, resistance level we can always maintain this resistance level one there's a strong break happen you can always execute or we can always enter the market and keep your stop uh, below this doji or maybe the the spike below this or a week below a same way for the re reversal side when there is a continuous upside there in the market and this formation is happened which clear a, a, a potential signal a popular signal in this so you can always there a breakout happen on the next day or next candle and keep a stop loss above this spike is always a, a, a reasonable uh, a trend which can able to continue like so it's what we are discussing let's move on to the next one the next pattern is a uh, Morbuzo candle, which is also one of uh, a popular one, uh, usually occurs uh, when there is a strong uh, movement happen in the market. For example, a flash news or any type of uh, uh, a, a type of uh, informations or maybe strong move in the markets. So the buyers are there, strong buyers are there, strong sellers are there, which normally occurs. Like so, this type of candle is a bull full body candlestick that means uh, it may not have any wigs or maybe a spike or something on the bottom or a top uh, which minimally it just may small maybe the week maybe because of uh, a spread closing or maybe a timing of the time of the uh, frame so but, but normally it is a full body candle which longer size uh, large in size and signals strong momentum that means they are a strong move which has moved the market either side or bullish or maybe the bearish uh, which candles have been closed. So if you say from the 
you can see the the pattern how exactly it forms it's a bullish uh, form so you can see there is no any spike or wick in the bottom on the top so when there is a this formation has happened is understood that there is a big a strong movement happen in the market so definitely it's going to continue further uh, if we're going to break down this uh, levels either side it can be bullish or it can be bearish but normally this occurs on a higher level of time frameation like four hours or daily or we can see most of the times in four hours because it's continually happen three four times or two hour times in a weekly basis uh, but the, this is one of the best one which is uh, usually you can follow in the patterns so let's move on to the next one uh, which is amor and hanging man even this what are we taking here today it's just a popular one which have been usually occur in the markets so from the name from the amber and hanging man patterns trend uh, to suggest a reversal of the certain trend so from the name from the amber understood like it's look at look look like amber you know and same way from the hanging man is look like a personal name it's like look look for easy to understand from this so let me uh, they have a uh, small bodies a small upper wick and long lower wick the amber indicate the possible reversal of the bearish trend and hanging man represents the potential reverse of the uptrend so let me move on to the to show how exactly it looks here this is the amr patterns so this is also very regularly happens even it is effective when the time when the even 30 minutes uh, time frame also sometimes but it's a very effective one because it's clearly indicate uh, uh, how there is a down downtrend happen in the markets continuously and this form is is happen is understood that that the sell off has been closed and the markets keep moving on the upside and given some type of a small wick and close in a small box like it's like you know it's like amber look like amber same way when you're taking up the hanging man so that is also seems to be like shows on an opposite type of closing that means the amor shows on a bullish closing the hanging man shows on a bearish closing so now you can see here very clearly you can understand how exactly this two different uh, type of patterns works here mostly people uh, most of traders who trade on uh, in a uh, candlesticks they always follow this because it's easy to identify is to in give clear indication how the trend so there's a continuous downtrend has been seen and after that there's amber pattern happens and this has been clearly shown how exactly the market has been reversed so when you see this type of patterns again i say that this unless the market give a high break you know give a strong break above the high level of this candle it can be daily or it can be four hours or one hour whatever may be so once the crosses happen on this level so you can always be on a buy side direction so probably it can give above this level first and when there is a cross happens there is a breakout happens it can can continue to this level so these are very stronger and powerful uh, uh, patterns uh, which is the amor and same way for the hanging man so when there is a bullish trend was a continue were there in the rally and you can see a hanging man uh, 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 indication is there and this formation again gives a clear indication it doesn't mean that you have to sell it here so you have to wait at least for a spike to get double confirmation i'm not saying you can't do that unless you have a risk of this level but still if you have a double confirmation you can have a very good continuation of the trend side and be on the past in the market so you can always be on this level to when that's been broken so you can be on continue on the downside which can able to take a profit level of this or maybe to this level actually so this also a very good uh, patterns uh, which usually occurs in the markets so next we move on to the inverter hammer and shooting star so when you see the hammer and inverter hammer like it is almost like a reversal side of the things so this also looks similar but in the reversal side but this all connected with uh, hammer it's because it shows look like hammer and as like hanging you know so easy to identify normally this type of two patterns usually occurs when there's a complete reversal of the market even it take for shorter term or long term or quite uh, uh, mid term what are the other type of trend you have been looking so it definitely gives a chance to get into the markets so this inverter hammer or shooting star patterns are exactly the opposite side of the hammer and hanging man which i was telling to you but they also also reversal patterns they have small bodies a small lower wick and lower upper wick so the inverter hammer refers to the reversal of the bearish trend and the short shooting six stars signals also are possible to enter to the bullish rally so we can see from the chart here like it was you can see the difference so where in the hammer we were seeing exactly opposite it look, look like hammer but this is inverter hammer just inverting the hammer which shows the difference of this and exactly in uh, 
uh, angling man, which was exactly opposite here, the candlesticks looks in a different way. So this both are, are all very similar. The only difference is the closing. The closing was in bullish and this closing was in uh, on a downside bearish. So if you say in, in a clear way of uh, on a page, you can see this indication is very clear where there's a bearish trend and then there is this inverter hammer occur. So definitely there's a good sign indication is given. This patterns also very strong indications have been seen. So when this occurs, again, this confirmation is there, unless it breaks a low. If it breaks a low, then it's been failed. That the inverter hammer pattern has been failed. So never go into the market. That's why I used to say, unless it breaks a high of this uh, uh, spike or wick high, don't, don't enter the market unless you have a proper stop loss or something like that. So if you enter in between that after this closing, you can do, but you can make a profit to this level, at least for some 10%. But if you make a stop loss of this strong stop loss, you can definitely rally in this market. But make sure that you have a double confirmation unless you break a spike because basically it understood that there is a, a, a spike happened and there is a some uh, type of uh, selling pressure happened in the market then it closed here so to break this level and to to uh, break out this level the market need a more strong buying pressure so obviously when this break again happens there's going to continue this 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 to this level so keeping a stop loss and you can trial your stop loss slowly according to the chart or candlesticks moves so in the same way in the shooting star it's a very clear indication we can see regularly even it appears on a time limited time durations like you can say even 15 minutes but very short but to be have a very strong indications always uh, go with a higher time durations like 30 minutes four hours one hour or daily whatever maybe so this also yeah, there was continuous rally on the upside and this shooting star uh, type of patterns up here it clearly shows a uh, 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 yeah, red in inverter hammer if in, in a talk in a normal way so when this here this appears and you are ready to go for a sell indications and keep your stop loss above the resistance level of where the made high of this so these are the a close relation hammer uh, yeah, type of patterns so when you see about uh, uh examples let's say uh, some ex examples here so i can show you one or two couple of uh, 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 a recent example with uh, mt4 platforms let's take uh, a, a brand we can see in a brand so in a brand in a daily chart it's a daily chart of brand which is continuously moving on the upside directions so everyone is surprised the market has keep moving on downside for the last two three months and uh, a brand has almost touched this bottom so anyone can we are discussing about the doji or we can take talking about amber it's almost similar patterns up here at the bottom of the chart you can see here this is one of the best indications so as i said that there's a stop loss is this is the, to this level so you can see the the low of the stop loss which is being maintained and when there is a spike happen and there's a breakout happen you can always be on a buy list. still there is small drawback a, a, a correction happened but still the market is still continuing from there so these are the one of the best example I can show for uh, uh, Amr or you can see at the Dowji because uh, sometimes the, the spread because the spread it, it closes as a candle or sometimes it, it never closes as a candle it's slow it closes as Dowji patterns. So this is one of the big uh, very best example I can show you. If I come to the top uh, when there is a, a, a downfall continue of a small correction of the 61 level dollars you can see uh, 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 yeah. Uh, a shooting star here so this is also yeah, one of the very good uh, examples which i'm taking here as a daily one so daily ones are usually like you need a, a more space to wait because it's it forms on daily basis not on instantly on a on a few hours so that means like if there's a day which has been uh, formed and we can keep that as a low as your entry and keep high as your stop loss i can see the market has been keep on and there is a big gap also there in the markets so it has been continued till now to this level so even now in the middle, you can see somewhat, but you can't consider that much to be on because when there's a trend is up and that this formation has happened, like a shooting star or inverter hammer happens, then there'll be effective on that trend. For example, I can go for some more example. You can see almost here. Uh, this also, we can say something uh, with that. So these are the patterns usually occurs. So all this major pattern, like five to six pattern, which is easy to identify in the markets, uh, to get into the market easily, which occurs on a regular basis. So this is all about a small brief about, uh, about the patterns. Uh, if you have anyone has any questions or any doubts, you can always uh, keep on your post, please. Thank you.
Thank you, Sai, for your explanation. Please, if you have any questions, write them down. Okay, so there's a, there's a question first. Okay, so what influences the color of the candle? So it depends on, um, well, you can choose the color. So you can go for the MetaTrader 4, for example, here on the properties. And uh, and you can choose the color of uh, that suggests a bar is going up or the bar the bull candle or the bear candle. But usually bullish candles or the bull candles they uh, they they look in, in lighter colors and bear candles or candles that signals a movement down they are shown in darker colors or in red color. So this is for for the, there is nothing to have with the color and the price move. So you just have to decide uh, on the on the color that you like that uh, you believe it shows. Uh, the market's going up where the market is going down. So you just can choose the color. Lighter colors are for bullish candle and darker colors are for bearish candles. While they're asking for uh, advice on gold. Okay, so for gold, uh, sir, it, uh, we were doing uh, sessions on, on Monday. The market update sessions are happening on Monday. But uh, at the end of the webinar, we can have a small discussion about gold. But just, just let's answer first the questions related to the webinar. Uh, can the Marabozo signal a trend reversal? Sai? Uh, yes, uh, it's okay. it's kind of reversal because there's a strong movement happening on this. Even either side, it can be a bullish candle or a close or a bearish candle. Definitely, it could be a reversal based on the time frame what you take. For example, you take uh, a four hours uh, time frame. Definitely, this is going to continue for a week time. Or if you take for a daily or weekly, it's going to continue for a few days and few weeks. So definitely, it's, 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 it's agreed that it's be a reversal trend of uh, patterns. Okay, is there any any way of confirmation as many times they are not working? So that's that's what we, we mentioned at the beginning of, uh, of the webinar, that uh, the reliability uh, is, is changing with the, with the candlesticks and even uh, the, the success rate is different. So so you just have to, to, to add some filters to the market. So for example, if you are getting some buy signals from, from candlestick patterns, you can add filters like, for example, a moving average. If the market is above a certain moving average and you're getting a bullish signal from the candlestick, then it is more confirmation and uh, vice versa. If the price is trading below the moving average, or you can add also some oscillators that can show you that the market is in a selling uh, territory. So also you can rely on the candlestick signals for entry and for the, uh, for the indicators for filtration. Uh, there's a question, Doji, uh, with a long wake for a down uh, trend means what? Yes, of course, uh, a Doji has a long wake uh, uh, for upside. If it is seen a long wake on the upside direction and you, the, the price closes down, uh, which says a tail is back and then the upside. That means the, the spike is more on the upside than the downside. So it means that it's the trend is going to be on a downside. So exactly reverse the side when the spike is more on the down, the wick is on the down, and the reversal going to be. And make sure that the market on the opposite direction. When there is downside market, and where you form the dowji, it's going to be bullish. When there is a bullish trend and you form a dowji, then it's going to be a downside trend. Yeah, for example, this uh, this uh, dodgy here shown on the on the on the Brent chart, you can see that the market was well in red before the market was well down and then uh the, the, it was able to recover all these losses so this this uh wick this long wick down uh, shows that the market was suffering earlier and now recovered from this uh, from this drop so this could be taken a little bit of a little bit uh, like a small bias to the upside but usually when when the uh, when the doji closes near the opening price it is taken as a signal uh, for as a neutral uh, neutral signal so whenever i see a shooting star uh, say Whenever I see a yes, shooting uh, star at the uptrend, I should look out for a sell. Exactly, exactly. Because the shooting stars indicates for the downtrend indications because uh, when there is a continuous bullish trend and there is an indication happen, like when the pattern happens, a shooting star, it seems like it should be on downside. You always be on a seller side of the mode and keeping the shooting star high, the uh, high of the, uh, the level should be a stop loss. So we can continue on a seller side of the directions. Okay, so there is a question. Uh, what determines the type of candle formed? An example, the bullish or the bearish. So a bullish candle is when, when the market is closing above the opening price. 
and the bearish candle is when the market is closing below the the, the opening price so so uh, what, what moves the the market there are several factors that can move a uh, certain price that can affect the the supply and demand leading to to these price variations so when the market uh, within a certain time frame closes above the opening price it means that this candle is bullish or leading or hinting for a move up and vice versa uh, so how do you find how do you define your profit targets your profit targets yes so basically the profit targets are case to case uh different the traders to traders you know so suppose like uh, you are a long time traders or a short term trader depends on that suppose you find uh, any type of patterns on the trading and you're trying to execute the trades as i said that there is always there will be a, a, a starting point and there will be the reversal point so we can keep that happening basically and gradually when you keep a stop loss with your patterns and slowly gradually increase your stop loss so that you can protect your profit as well and you are go along with the trends so that how exactly the target has been fixed basically and uh, depend on the size of your law depend on your trade risk it's, it's all depend on the money management basically okay yeah also you can use for for you can use the atr the average through range so for example if you are using a certain time frame you can just check the average through range and set your take profit depending on on the atr uh si, there's another question for hanging man does the color of yeah. hanging man or hammer matters uh yes but it's color and sense is just like in any case of hanging man uh as i said like it should be close on a bullish uh and bearish um hammer basically close on a bullish so this is how the difference so when you say it doesn't mean the color it doesn't it means about the bullish closing or a bearish closing so based on depend on that you find this is the hammer or this is the hanging man so that indicate that how to uh take the action into the markets Okay, which are filtering indicators for best candlestick patterns? So there, there wasn't, there aren't like, uh, like, uh, like indicators that you can believe they are best for for patterns. Like most indicators, they do the same. Uh, if if you're taking the, the indicators for a bias, they mostly do the same, the same job. Most of the oscillators and indicators. So, so you just uh, you you can have uh, like two or three to confirm more. Like if if they confirm the same signal, then you can go for it. So you can add indicators more in order to have better confirmation. What does a candle with a small body and a long wick signifies? Yeah, there's a question Sorry. like, what does a candle with a small body and a long uh, wick signifies? So basically, yes, uh, this we are discussing uh, uh, a couple of patterns which almost can be a hammer or it can be a, a doji nearby or we can say inverter hammer or any type of hammer patterns. So when these, we see a small body of closing and we have to resemble like what type of closing it is, whether it is a bullish closing or bearish closing. The next point we have to look into that, whether the spike in the downside or wick in the downside or the upside. So based on this, we'll identify the pattern, then we can take the action according based on that. Okay, there's a question also, Sai, why did the candlestick reverse sometimes immediately when you enter a trade? So the, why did the candlestick reverse sometime immediately when you enter the trade? So maybe uh, like uh, what type of candle you have, so as I said, like there are there are 30 to 40 candlesticks patterns are there and it has been proved many times, but we have to look into what type of candle uh, indication you're taking the markets so based on that. It doesn't mean that whenever you see a bullish candle, does it, you have to go for a buy. Whenever you see a bearish candle, you have to go for a sell. No, it's not like that. So you have to be that what type. And so we need a lot of practice, a lot of uh, observation, a lot of uh, history research should be there and you have to study and don't take all the type of patterns because very confused to identify in the markets, live markets. Take like three or five or six, what we discussed today is all proper type of candlesticks patterns. You can more than enough to identify this because it regularly appears in the markets. So based on that, we can always uh, go ahead, but be sure that you maintain a stop loss in the right place and right uh, point of uh, support or resistance. That will give you the uh, a patient to wait in the market to continue with 100 directions. Okay, so there is someone also asking how to differ, uh, how to differentiate between a bullish candle and the bearish one. So I'm just gonna go back to uh, to the PowerPoint presentation to explain again what's a candlestick. So here, when this is the bear candle, the bear candle meaning that the market moved down. So this is the opening price on a certain. For example, let's take into consideration the daily time frame. So this is the open on a certain day. The market went up a little bit, and then the market lost all these gains and went down sharply. 
and then uh, eased a little bit up to close here. So for example, this price, let's say for gold, this price was 1700, it went up for 1710, then dropped to 1680 and closed at 1690. It means that gold dropped within this day. So this me this means that the market went down. This th this is what we call the bear candle. And the bull candle is the opposite. So let's say the market opened at 1700, it dropped to 1690 and went up to 1720 and closed at 1710, meaning that the market moved up on this day and closed up on this day. This means that the market, the, 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 the candle is bullish or signal, signal that the market moved up on a certain time frame. A candlestick without a wick means, uh, tr uh, Sai, there's a question also. Sai. So, no. the, uh, uh, how does it work? Yeah, that's what I'm explaining to you. Pattern is so uh, bullish patterns and bearish patterns. So this is how exactly. So there is a strong movement in the market which never shows any wick uh, on the closing candle close without wick and is going to break further. So it's going to continue on the same direction. And there's a bearish candle which shows without wick. It's going to continue on the downside directions. Okay, I, I believe this While there's a question, I was late advice on bearish and bullish chart on. Yeah, I believe we answered this, uh, Already this done, yeah. Yeah. like a moment ago. How can we determine that the market is in reversal or it is just a corrective retracement? Uh, sometimes you can look for for divergences and for a break of uh, of certain instruments. For since since the uh, since the the candlestick patterns they they occur directly. So uh, so you have to. On, in order to to have a bigger movement, you have to wait for for other filters. But if you're just entering for a, for a quick move, you just need to set to accept uh, to accept a certain risk. So when you're trading, uh, when you're trading uh, with candlestick patterns, you have to accept a certain risk and set another uh, return in in, in uh, return. So you just have a certain risk to reward ratio, and you you can work on it uh, that way. But uh, but it is early to tell whether the market is uh, is, is having a full reversal or or a tracement from candlestick patterns. Open WTI chart. There's one more question. What can I decide by the tenth red candle from the current uh, candle? Yeah, there's, there's one more question. How does time frame candles form? The types uh, type bullish or when the lower time frame might have series of bull on a higher level, it turns up into bearish. Yeah, that's what I will keep saying. See, always uh, if you have, if you're looking into the pattern types like candlesticks pattern trading strategy, so always doesn't go don't don't go for the minimum time duration because the minimum time duration is doesn't obey the, or never follows. These are the patterns which has been uh, uh, proven on a higher time frames basically, so longer time duration because it it, it wait and give the directions. But you go for a lower time duration, even if you go for 30 minutes or 15 minutes also, it all like fluctuation happens. It's, it's just show the fluctuations, but it doesn't give any trend clearly. So I am my advice, doesn't go to look into the patterns, always go for a higher time frame, like one hour, four hours, eight hours, daily, weekly, or monthly, something like that. Okay, so there is also, does Wix matter when drawing trend lines or, uh, yeah, sometimes does uh, like it depends on uh, on on uh, on, uh, on how much you're uh, you're just you're just fooling. Some some traders do pr do prefer having the trend lines on on the wicks. Others do prefer for the closing. So it depends. But usually, since uh, it matters with those who use. Uh, the closing, the daily closing, or a candle close as a filter. So if they're using the candle close as a filter, they usually draw uh, draw the trend line or the support and resistance on closing prices and not on wicks. So that's uh, that's the the dilemma. So there's one more question, Sorry. please. What is the difference between the GBP JPY and GBP JPY EM? I guess uh, uh, this is exactly not to the related to the today webinar, but still. Uh, I think you are looking into our platform. We can see two different type, but both are same. There's not a difference on it. Only difference, like for our reference, uh, we kept GPP JPY in the top, but you always go for GPP JPY YAM. It means that market executions. So, but both are same uh, instruments basically. Okay, so there's a, there's a question that we missed. 
Uh, Bob, but let's continue with this and then we'll get back to the other question. When using candlestick for analysis before trading, what time frame would you advise? Sai? Yes, uh, yes. Uh, Preferably looking into the candlesticks type of traders. Uh, uh, normally, uh, many traders are there in the markets would only look into the candlesticks and take the actions with it. So to understand this, first, get ready with your candlestick. What are the candlesticks patterns you are going to throw on it? Try to understand how exactly it react and how it goes reverse or make it failure. So to uh, understand a very proper way, one hour, four hours, daily and weekly will be the best way to understand to understand the time frame. Uh, I'll, I'll, it gives uh, gives a, uh, it also helps you to understand how exactly theoretically it's been studied and how you're going to implement the practical knowledge in the markets. Okay, so there is someone asking to open WTI chart in H4 mode. What can I decide by the tenth red candle from the current candle? Uh, let me go for the WTI. So Nayan, if you're still with us, uh, just uh, Okay, so this is the WTI, and this is the uh, the H4 chart. So what what candle are you looking for? If you're looking for these like tenth candle from here, so these uh, these are the candle. The, this is what we talked about. So here's some that we had we had a conflict with uh, like uh, for false signals from uh, from the the candlesticks. Since it depends on the uncertainty in the market, like you, if if you check all these. Uh, dodges after uh, after a while, you can you can tell that the market here is in an uncertainty, especially that it followed a, a, a perfect rally to the upside, and especially that the market is being influenced heavily by the fundamentals lately. So so this is uh, this would would minimize the the success rate of uh, of uh, of candlestick patterns sometimes. So you just have to. Uh, to add some filters in order to check uh, to to check up on 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 this uh, uh, on this formation and precise. We missed one question. Does the wick matters when you're drawing a trend line or or support or resistance? Of course. No, no, because, I answered. Uh, wick is... Yes, please. I answered. You answered it. Yeah, I... yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we answered okay. this one. Yeah. It depends on the traders who use the the closing as a filter for a certain a certain trend line break or a certain support and resistance. So that's why they draw the uh, they, they draw it either on wicks or on uh, on the closes. Well, aside, this is for you. When I see a shooting star candle at the uptrend, does that mean I should look out for a sell? Yeah, as I answered before, but anyway, I'll explain you again. Yes, of course. Like if you see a uptrend markets and you see a shooting start it's a clear indication for the downside trend obviously you should look for the selling side as i said like uh, don't jump into the market immediately when there's a low break happen on the shooting star candle and always keep high as a stop loss and we can move on the selling side Okay, so there is a question: What can drive the trend, and what can cause reversal in the market? So it depends. Law, like the market move depending on several factors. Many factors can affect the the demand and supply, or uh, the interest for for clients to sell or buy a certain instrument. So there are. This is this question is very generic. You have, uh, like many 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 factors that can decide on uh, on on the price price movements in the market. Okay, so there was someone asking about gold, which is a little bit away from uh, from our uh, topic today. But mainly, gold had uh, had a certain. We we talked about this during uh, during our um, our market update session. We had this consolidation zone here, uh, and the market was able to uh, to move higher. And then we had this uh, this a little bit of a correction here, and then the market is continuing to, to move to uh, to the upside. So you just have to be uh, to be careful for uh, for any break below this this resistance, which turned into support here in year 1723 uh, for for bulls. So bulls should have to uh, to be careful for any break below 1723. This is for gold. So any further questions? So aside, there's a question. Okay. Where is the question? So he's asking about the Moribuzo candlesticks, uh, please. Uh, can we take back the, uh, the slides? I can give you some small points about it. Yes, this is how exactly in the, in say the Maribus, uh, what I'm saying about the strong movement happened uh, on a bullish or maybe bearish. 
for example, when there is a, a candle close uh, with without wick, that can say the close open and without any low and, and closed uh, without giving any top high or without any wick. So this is called a, a pressure on the bullish candle. So this understood that there is a, a pressure will continue further on the upside direction. The same way for the bearish one. It, it opened but not given any uh, type of eye uh, figure on the markets and it's been keep down and close exactly without any low which seems that the high the open uh, uh, sorry with the low and the close same and the open and the high are the same that was exactly so with this feed this type of patterns they're going to be continue on the same direction if it's a bullish barbuzo it's going to the bullish side if it's a bearish barbuzo it's going to the bearish side Okay, uh, Sai, what can drive the market or cause reversal? Sir, I just uh, just answered this. There are many factors that can drive a certain market and a trend or cause a reversal. So the market depends on certain fundamentals uh, and certain aspects that can affect the demand and supply. They can trigger your your uh, your interest in buying something or in selling something. So this is a very very generic topic. So we can't just uh, just uh, uh, have have some words on it. It's it's very generic. Like there are several factors that can come into play that can support the market in moving in a certain trend. And another factor, one factor can come and uh, and and uh, and and cause a reversal or uh, er erase the gains, for example, in, in, in an uptrend. Any further questions? Okay, perfect. So uh, I was just uh, okay. There is a question, Sai. Yeah. What can uh, what can you say about not setting your stop loss when uh, placing a trade? No, uh, any trader uh, it's must to keep a stop loss. A defense stop loss is must. Uh, there are n number of strategies available, but still. Uh, a stop loss will give you protect yourself basically if you have a strong strategy uh, definitely you have to keep a stop loss because there is no strategy without stop loss so if you don't have a stop loss does it mean like you're free open on your risk is more on that so it's based on a risk management side so always be on a stop loss settings you know keep placing a trade whenever you do that and if you formally like talking about the today's uh, uh, candlesticks patterns always define your stop loss very clean and neat so you can identify your stop loss in, in a very proper level. So you can see that whether, whether you are capable of taking a risk for the stop loss or not. If you're not capable, don't want to enter the markets. So based on that, you can always choose your trade on the stop loss. Okay, so there is a question. What does a candle with big body and small wick signify? Already, so I answered this question. And uh, a candle with big body is the more bozo that we just talked about. So it means that there is a certain momentum in the market, which 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 would support the market in continuing in the same trend. Okay, so there is another question. Does the high of a yeah. candle show the strength the strength of trend? If so, why many times they don't work? Sorry. Not uh, not all the time. Uh, not only the high and low define the market, but uh, when you're talking about the with, with the candlesticks patterns, uh, keeping as a double confirmation, nothing else, because it it, it acts as a uh, it acts as a resistance or support levels. So when you see the strong breakout happens on the resistance support on a bearish or bullish side, definitely the market is going to continue further, and you have a strategy and you have your candlesticks confirmation also and in the pattern confirmation that gives you more support so once you want to be on a candlesticks patterns be confirmation on what exactly the pattern it is and after the pattern be take your high or low uh, consideration not just taking a tipping a point like fire paper stamp it this only happens on the spread it may take it out and come back because there a lot of stop loss will be there when you see the type of uh, candlesticks high and low or the resistance or suppose so make sure that it, it, it give a strong break uh, and then you continue in the markets so i believe that's it for today uh Sai, do you have anything to add that's fine well good okay, so, so we just uh, okay there is a question more uh a small body with a long wick and the big body with a small wick, do they signify the same thing? 
Of course not, since since we just uh, we just mentioned the big body uh, signals that uh, the the a certain uh, either the buyers or the sellers are uh, in, in more in control within a specified period. While uh, while those were the with long with, with long wicks, uh, they signal that the market moved in a certain trend and then it reversed, uh, erasing those gains or or, or regaining uh, recovering from the losses. So they they don't have the same uh, the same signal. So uh, I was just I would just like to uh, remind you that all the information mentioned in this area uh, in this uh, webinar are just for educational purposes, uh, and, and they shouldn't be taken as any signals or bias for trading. Uh, if you have any further questions, please send them as an email to webinar at icm.com or support at icm.com. Uh, okay, there's uh, there's someone asking for further explanation on evening and morning star. Uh, we will we will have this. Uh, Sai will 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 give you a brief about the evening and morning star. But we will have also this this webinar reposted on our social media uh, platform so you can watch it again. Sai, can you just give uh, give a brief again about the evening and morning star? Yeah, sure. Uh, let this me is, give you uh, a minute time. This is exactly. So this is how exactly the evening star and morning star. So when you go through uh, with uh, a patterns or candle patterns, when there is a bullish uh, continuation and there is a small type of a closing, which is small body and small spike. And again, there's a, a, a bearish candle close out. So which looks like uh, in a three candle patterns. Normally in other cases, we normally conform with uh, two or uh, um, based on that. But in the case of evening star or morning star, we have to take a three candle considerations of a close then we have to take it so for example for an evening star with a bullish trend and you form a type of uh, a bullish small kind of uh, uh, closing which is very minimum which compared to the previous candle and you can see a big fall uh, next to that uh, it stays as an evening star that means the market is going to continue for the breaking of the low when you're taking the morning star there's a bearish trend happens and then you can see a small type of bearish close which is very very tight and very small which gives small body and small wick and there's a bullish happen in the next candle, which says a morning star, then it means there's going to continue on the upper trend. Okay, there's someone asking about our YouTube channel. Yes, you can find it, ICM Capital. ICMC Capital Letters, A-P-I-T-A-L, lower caps. Okay, perfect. So this is all for today. Uh, thank you so much all for joining. Uh, stay safe and hopefully we'll have another uh, webinars uh, next week on Monday the weekly educational webinar and hopefully on Wednesday uh, a new educational webinar. So Sai, do you have anything to add? Thank you everyone for joining. Have a nice day. Thank you. Have a good day. Perfect. Thank you everyone.